how to customize text in Opus Clip. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I am in Opus Clip right now. I'm about to load up a video and let me show you how to customize the text. All right, so my video is all loaded up and there's a couple of places where you can start customizing the text. First is you can edit your brand template. So I'm just gonna click on that. Now editing your brand template allows you to preset these brand templates. So if you have specific colors, specific fonts, you know, if you wanna put your logo, you can have that preset before it starts clipping out your videos. So this is actually a time saver to do. And in the brand template, under captions, you'll see all the ways to customize your text. Now I will also be going back if you don't have access to this. So this is the brand template. So I'm actually gonna go back and do it manually now and show you what it looks like if you didn't get a chance to set the brand template. So I'm just gonna click get clips in one click. It's gonna do its AI thing. All right, so once your video finishes going through its whole AI thing, it's going to rank your videos here and then here, when you click on edit clip, that's where you'll be able to customize the text. So you've got two tabs here, got the caption and the design. Design is where you are customizing the text. So to change the text, we're just gonna scroll down here and here in this area. So you can choose whether you want three lines per page or one line. I'm okay with having it be the three line. And then from here, caption position. Right now it's set to auto and it's seeing that the best place here is at the bottom. So Sometimes this gets it correct, sometimes it doesn't, so you can switch it up. Obviously, we don't want it at the top because then it's going to be covering my face. And in the middle, again, it's going to be distracting, so the bottom is the best placement for it. Now, this is the animation for your caption, and you can see all the different kinds that it's going to be changing to. Personally, I set it to what they have it as a default, I'm okay with it. Here is the text color. Now, if you have brand colors, you want to set this to the text color. This is going to be the main text color that's going to be showing up. So I'll just play a little bit here. Anytime you can make $10,000 with something, there's something there. And again, that 10,000. So you can see that as the word I'm saying, it's going to be that uh, pinky type color. That's the main color. Now this purple color, I'm gonna show you in just a second, that's more down below. But here is where you can choose the actual font. Again, this is the default font from Opus Clip and I'm okay with it, I like it. It's not necessarily our brand font, but I like that it's big, it's bold, and it makes it easy to read the captions. Here you can change the font size. This is italics or underline. And this here is the different styles of the font. So if you want it light, regular, we have it set to black. You can change it to extra bold. This is regular. To me, that does not look good at all. So we set it to this format called black. Here you can decide whether the text is gonna be all uppercase, which is how it looks right now. I personally like it like that, but you can toggle this off and it will have lowercase. Personally, I think that the uppercase looks better, but again, you guys can decide. Next here is the main font color. So this pinky color is the word that I'm saying. The font color, this white, is what it generally is going to be colored. The font stroke is the border around each letter, so that's going to be black, and the font shadow is going to be behind all the text, creating a shadow. If I turn it off, it looks like this. Personally, I like the shadow on, it gives it more depth, and it makes the text stand out a lot more clear. So you can change any of these colors. You can put the exact hex codes, color codes in here. You can change the thickness of the border around each letter. And here, these are the, the AI keywords highlighters. So the AI is going to be choosing certain words that it feels would be highlighted potentially in a different color. So you can see here that it highlighted the $10,000 in the purple color that is also part of our brand. So you can actually leave this on or off. If you turn it off, then it's just gonna do 
this color right here, which is the main color of the each word that you're saying. But if you turn it on, then whatever two colors you put here, it's going to pick and choose what it feels should be highlighted. So that's pretty much the area where you design and you customize your text. Over here in the caption tab, this is where you actually remove words. If it misspells something, you know, correct that. If you want to add some emojis, you can do that here. Now you can see here that there's the the purple and the pink color going on here. If you don't want it to be in this color, you can click on it and you can change it to the three colors that you have going on or the two colors that you have going on. Again, it's the AI choosing these certain words to be highlighted. So this might not make sense. Anytime you can make, if you don't like that, you can just click on that and you're like, oh no, we don't really want that to be highlighted specifically so we can change that to a white color. In another tutorial, I'll go into more depth on really dialing down your text. This tutorial was to show the design of customizing your text. So once you've customized your text and it's all good, and of course you've gone through your caption and everything's all good, you basically go to save and compile to save everything. It's going to save any new changes that you do. It'll bring you back to the initial page where it's going to show you all of the clips. And you're going to see here, it's going to show you like a little time frame. It might say two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Basically, you're going to have to wait for it to create that new short with the edits that you've made. Wait for that little time to go away and then you'll be able to download it or schedule it or whatever you want to do. So if you are interested in getting Opus Clip, I have a link down in the description below. I would start off with the free account, play around with it yourself, see if you actually like it before upgrading to a paid plan. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.